first things you need to do when you are preparing for this day. Make sure you have everything you need and a safe place to be. Charge your phones, get water wherever you're going to be. Make sure you do have a safe place to be and put that plan in place and just be weather aware. Again, since the tornadoes of April 27, 2011, all of us remember those. There has been an effort in Jefferson County to build more storm shelters. Later today, cities will be opening those shelters as we get ready for severe weather heading our way. Now, the Jefferson County EMA says it's important to remember that this is not something that's going to be over within a few hours. It's a 14, 15 hour event. The agency expecting a, a long weather event. If you haven't done so already now, is the time to prepare. Got to get on it. One of the best things you can do is to make sure you have multiple ways to receive weather alerts. If one of those ways is through your phone, the Jefferson County EMA says make sure the do not disturb is turned off. People need to make sure that do not disturb is turned off on their phone. If you have do not disturb turned on, it will not give you an audible alert. So especially in the overnight hours, if you need to be woken up to seek shelter, that tone will not go off if do not disturb is on. So you want to double check and make sure that that is turned off. That is a great point. And another reminder, do not rely on outdoor sirens totally. Look, they're meant to be heard when you're outside. It's unlikely you're going to uh, hear them inside or be woken up. Of course, we are still in the middle of a global pandemic, so there is a bit of a risk in going to a crowded shelter. But the bottom line is that you have to do what's best for you and best for your family. Uh, protecting yourself from potentially violent storms should be your top priority. You have to look at what's the lesser of two evils in your immediate danger. And the immediate danger would be a tornado that would come through instead of COVID. And here are a couple of other things to remember to bring if you're going to leave your house. You want to make sure that you have um, bottled water, food, a portable cell phone charger. Also, you want to grab any important documents or family heirlooms that you might want to save just in case the worst happens. And don't forget about your family pet. Make sure you bring them some extra food as well. Now, if you plan on riding out these storms at home, you need to have some kind of protection, specifically a mattress or maybe a helmet. Now, if you don't have either of these things, you can also use pots and pans or maybe even a textbook. Of course, anything really here is better than nothing. So make sure if this happens, grab what you can. And we are in the heart of tornado season. So March tornadoes really aren't that uncommon. In fact, only the month of April has seen more tornadoes. Last year, eight of them hit our state, and from 1950 to 2020, 323 tornadoes touched down in Alabama in the month of March, and the majority of those were EF1. And, and look at this, Central Alabama gets hit with more tornadoes than any other area of the state. In that same time frame, Jefferson County has been hit with 100 of them. Coleman and Tuscaloosa also no strangers to violent storms. And if you're in Pickens County, you need to go ahead and sign up for the Code Red Weather Warning System. Just head over to PickensCountyAL.com. That's where you can register for phone calls, for text alerts, as well as emails. Now, this is an opt-in only service, meaning you won't automatically receive these alerts. You do have to sign up for them. And today's storms come just a month and a half after a deadly EF3 tornado ripped through the city of Fultondale. And we all remember that that storm's still fresh on the minds of so many. One reason for concern here in Fultondale, all the debris that sits on the street, a lot of that has been pushed to the curb. The city will open all three storm shelters if and when a tornado watch is issued. They can hold approximately 400 people. I know people are concerned with their pets, but because of social distancing and COVID and everything else that plays a part, we ask that, you know, just the persons come to the storm shelter if needed. So we hope for the best for the folks in Fultondale. Plenty of school closings today as well. Also, UAB's COVID vaccines uh, uh, sites in Jefferson County also closed. Take note of that. All information scrolling at the bottom of your screen throughout the day and the night. And of course, it is also free on our WVTM 13 app. Make sure you have that on your phone or your device. Check out our real time Doppler radar, our three minute advantage. This is live radar and turn on notifications. You really don't want to miss any watches or any warnings, especially in your area.